Hi guys, uh, welcome to Azrat SG Fishing. Um, okay, I'm gonna kick start as you see the title. I'm gonna kick start uh, this segment called uh, "What's My Favorite Yo." Okay, may, some of you may be asking, you know, uh, these guys from uh, Zred SG, uh, what lures do they do like to use? Maybe, you know, some of you may be asking. So, we've decided to, during this period, um, our circuit breaker period, well, uh, we can't do much of fishing anyway. So, me and the guys, uh, my friends, uh, we thought of compiling uh, individual videos um, stating what kind of lures that uh, we prefer or like to use um, to maybe within this year or, or maybe previous year what they like to use you know uh, anything so I'll be the first one to, to talk about uh, what are my favorite yours to use um, I don't have much uh, particularly uh, inside my my tackle box which is like that uh, I got a few yours here but uh, only at the current moment, uh, I got only one that is uh, a favorite of mine. Seems to be, seems to be working uh, well. Uh, just before the the COVID nineteen period uh, started, you know, all this all this craziness, you know, sorts of things. Uh, there's a one particular lure that that uh, stands out uh. So uh, the lure is uh, the countdown elite. This one, rapala. Okay, so why why this is my my current favorite at the moment? Uh, very simple. I I am no ex not much of an expert in in lures. Uh, it's it's just basically he's been helping me to catch more fish, and um, and to my surprise, it also helped me to catch fish that I have rarely or have not catch yet so that itself speaks volumes about about this this lure um, okay, for for you guys out there who are curious um, and this this lure is from Rapala okay is a is a it's a sinking sinking lure um, this is the shape this color if okay, let me see okay, I forgot the color let me check Okay, it's called the gilded red belly. Okay, this color is called the gilded red belly, and uh, I bought it at uh, Kaiser. I bought it at Kaiser. Um, uh, they are retailing over there. So, so far this real Leo, I, I've casted it uh, at uh, Pandan, at Kranji, and it managed to to get me some, some good catches. No, and uh, no complaints so far. It, it casts beautifully. Uh, this is the newest kind of countdown lure from Rapala, uh, countdown elite. And <coughs> the previous previous countdown uh, I've tested the previous one. Um, this one casts better. This one definitely casts better, and and it's catching more fish. Definitely, this. So, uh, when okay, why I say casting is good because um, when I casted it, it really goes far, and uh, it is is made in such a way that when you you cast it out, it really um, the weight you can feel the weight of it helps it to to propel it uh, to the distance that you want, and. <coughs> Mine is already like really used and has caught <laughs> quite a lot of uh, peacock bears and talapias and whatnot, you know. And and so far the hooks have been have been working well. Um, I think the color plays a part as to how how the fishes are attracted to it. And and I've worked as you can see. You see the lip. I don't know where you can see. It's quite badly, badly worn out. Not worn out, it's bad, badly like jagged. No? You know, all those serrations and all this. Why? Because I work it really close to the banks um, 
where the rock structures and all these things um, or where places where there are rock structures at the banks where the, the PBs are, are, are usually lying in wait or you know are, are nesting or I, I work it near the banks so as you can see the lip is quite badly bruised and jagged and rough because I work it near there and and yes it's, it really knows I'm surprised as how how easy it is to, to maneuver this one and I've really got hung up when using this lure and according to Rapala as the name suggests it's a, it's a countdown so when you cast it down you can actually count how many seconds it takes for it to sink to the bottom okay like you cast it out once it hits the water you can count 1000 2000 3000 4000 5000 6000 you sink and you stop at 6000 so the next the next cast when you do right you cast it out same thing it hits the water you count to 1000 2000 3000 4000 5000 before it hits the 6,000, you, you, you start to retrieve. So you know that 6,000 is the bottom. So 5,000, it stops here and you start to retrieve. You are working near the bottom. No, near the bottom. So it attacks uh, the, the column of fishes at this, eight, this type strike zone. So similarly, you can also count halfway. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 and you are, you are hitting fishes at the strike zone that is in the middle so it's a it's a very versatile your um, allowing you to work at different depth different columns of water okay so why i say this is my current favorite leo at the moment is because of uh, how flexible it is 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 a uh, how easy it is to cast and uh, work uh, as you know, when, when it drops, it flutters also and when you retrieve it, it makes like, it makes, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it makes the action of a wounded bait fish, kind of, if you, if you twitch it, if you straight retrieve, it will roll, it will roll, then when you twitch, it will, this way, okay, not, not so much, but at that depth, you no, know, it works this way, so then you, you retrieve, normal retrieve again then after you twitch it you will you know that that is the and then when you pause it you will you will uh, so called this way okay so because of this it, it is my current favorite leola basically so my my other friends will will share with you okay their favorite leo or leos uh, that they like to use Hopefully, this sharing, short sharing will, will cast some light as to what are these guys, what are, what are lures are these guys into, you know. So for me personally, is this one. So if you guys are interested to purchase this lure, you can uh, go down to Kaiser or um, maybe Kaiser, uh, Joe Tackle, um, Riverland. You can check them out. Uh, they, they are selling. They have different colors. Uh, this is the, my favorite. Gilded Red Belly. Okay. So, hope this uh, short sharing uh, is helpful to you guys. And stay tuned to more ZSD content in the future. Stay safe. Stay masked up. Stay home. Stay united, guys. See you. Hey, good evening, everyone and welcome to Eurasian Anglers um, Leos Galos. So today I'm going to showcase three types of uh, different Leos that I have in my current tackle box. So uh, we start off first with um, 7 cm 8 grams Mino. Okay, that's what it says. It's, it looks a bit whitish but it's actually luminous uh, at night. So I think it's good for night fishing. Or maybe if, if if the water is I think dark and then when it goes in it kind of bright it. I, I, I wish I, I could have like a a, a, a a torch that I could actually shine it, you know. So um, I've yet to use it. It's is in my tackle box. 
um, I guess it's, it's amino, so you know it's eight grams, so it's it's uh, aminos. I'm assuming it's supposed to dive. So um, a shout to all the anglers, please help me with this uh, amino. Tell me more about this. Uh, also tell me if you have actually used this, a very similar one. Uh, it's 7 cm, 8 grams, and um, yeah, if you happen to catch a fish, do let me know, and um, yeah, spice me up, man, spice me up. Okay, next, uh, another minnow, it looks like, uh, actually it looks like a tamban to me, man. Huh? Grayish, blackish on top, you know, right? So, this is uh, 8 cm compared to the other one so it's um, 7 cm 8 cm both of them hooks are actually size 6 um, I don't know it's the default hooks that came with it, uh, came with it. so yeah I, I may need to change to a larger hook so please again comment tell me what kind of uh, what size hook should I actually use so back to this one so this is a, another mino it's called himself a laser you know a laser mino i don't know why so maybe it's like a dashing laser fast kind of thing you know uh, too fast until the fish can't see or, or i i don't know so yeah please help me out with this it's 7.6 grams 8 cm um, tell me whether it's suitable in our waters silly question but i guess yeah definitely should should be suitable okay so please um, help me out on this okay another one uh, another mino okay so this is what we call a jointed mino see it's a three joints first joint middle joint end joint so this is a 10.5 cm and it weighs 14.7 grams I, I just love the color it's uh, orangey reddish and everything so and lovely black eyes and everything so i'm assuming it's it's a top water and and i don't know i don't know whether this is a, a sinker a top water so please uh do give me a shout uh comment below let me know uh all the three lures what's best and everything thank you okay next uh, we have a proper whopper plopper that's that's uh when I, I when i bought it it was actually called a whopper plopper i was very impressed when i saw the video so this is a 9 cm 17 gram it's a top water so i'm assuming when it uh when it hits the water right and then when it goes it makes this plopper sound so you can see this this uh, the tail it goes round uh, it goes it moves like a in circular position so it gives a splash and, and that attracts the fish uh, do comment below tell me whether I'm right um, I've tested this uh, whopper plopper in, a, in in some reservoirs but uh, I've yet to, to, to land any hit so please uh, let me know what you think of this video and um, and yeah just just leave your comments below Okay guys, um, another top water lure, this is a 9.2 cm, weighs about 11, 11 over grams, uh, I think hooks could be a, maybe a size 6, uh, I don't know why, I keep on buying and uh, I keep on buying these lures and at the end of the day, I think they, they all look like a popper to me, you know, so I'm, I'm very very confused of uh, the, the various types of poppers out there in the market, so I I bought it because I just like it, pinky, whitish, you know, whitish body, pinky, and it's with a couple of uh, blue, yellow, pink, black uh, dots and everything. So yeah, um, I don't, I can't recall whether I've used this before. Um, but yeah, do do comment below. Tell me uh, which which reservoir I can use this. I I, I this is a stupid question. I can use it in every reservoir. A legal reservoir uh, but tell me um, what what uh, particular species would actually love uh, going after this this leo do comment below guys okay moving on this is um, looks very um, cool looking leo again black and green bit of a tinge of a, a bit of yellow you can see here and there's a bit of a orange here 
Um, what a beauty, man. What a beauty. If only I can land a fish with this Leo. Okay, so this is called a Snakehead Pencil Leo. It's um, 105 uh, mm or it's about 10.5 cm. Weighs about 16 grams. So, yeah. So, the names says it all. It's specially for Snakehead woman. So, that's a... Uh, Wobbling, wobbling cell. I think there's beads inside. So this is actually a looks like a top water to me. So it's uh, the whole thing is basically to attract the snakehead and it goes this way and, and the snakehead will just grab it from below. So again, yes. Uh, if you know anything more about this lure, uh, please do comment and let me know. Thanks. So I'm gonna showcase another three more lures again. So it's all minnows. I think I'm a I'm a fan of minnows, man. But I've yet to catch any any fish with uh, using all these minnows. So please, I, I really need someone to help me out with all this. You know, I'm I'm just buying and buying and buying, but I'm not actually using them to its full capabilities. You know, so I'm just gonna run through here. This is a a minnow. It's eight gram, nine cm. Um, again, I bought it on impulse. I I love the color, black green with a bit of black stripes and everything default hook so you can see default hook okay default hook 6 cm size 6 sorry not 6 cm size 6 so tell me about it tell me tell me more uh, about this this minnow uh, what kind of features can it do um, and yeah how should i actually use it how should i use it properly okay now, uh, one more here. So another minnow here. This is a 10 cm 9.4. Um, it's very similar to the other one that I I posted um, yesterday. What? Uh, but this is uh, more colorful. You know, it's multicolors. I can see a bit of uh, reddish, pinkish, bluish, uh, dash yellow, and everything. So yeah. So if you look at the both of them you can see see okay side view okay yeah so again similar similar um, some fishers will love it that's what I heard from my fellow anglers uh, they told me they always like uh, colorful colors or you know candy colors or whatever you know so again and because of that candy color I got another one. I have another one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, this this is uh, 9.5 cm, 6.7 grams. Uh, well, this one, this is a 10 cm. So it's uh, 9.5, 10. If you look at it, almost the same size, right? Almost the same, same, same. Yep. Default book size six. I don't know. I think when you buy, it all comes with size six. So tell me, what what hook, what size hook should I change? Uh, what's the best size? Uh, I have no ideas. I have no ideas really. I'm 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 totally lost in this. Um, yeah. So please, uh, I just need advice. I need, I need advice from 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 fellow anglers. So please uh, leave your comments below. The good, the bad, the ugly. Leave them below. I I will want to hear from everyone. Okay. Thank you and cheers. Uh, hi, good afternoon. I'm Wan Be from uh, Team Ikan Kachi. Uh, currently making a video for ZSG. Okay. Basically, these are the lures that I use uh, normally for my uh, trips with uh, ZSG or on my own. Okay, basically, uh, what I have is, uh, say, okay, currently I have, uh, for this is, uh, uh, these are hardly yours actually, uh, by uh, Relix uh, Nusantara. Okay, uh, this is uh, Astuti S. Astuti stands for uh, Asli Tukang Tipu Ikan. It's like uh, original... Uh, fish tricker, I think. Uh, direct transition. Yeah, I'm very bad if, if uh, 
translation uh, translating okay the color is uh, burn this is the color is burn uh, sinking minnow uh, then uh, 5 cm uh, 5.7 grams it's uh, basically for salt water fresh water okay at the same time I'm using a uh, Dian S. Okay, actually, it's a bit dirty. This is my last uh, fresh water session at Akranji uh, a few weeks ago before the lockdown. Okay, uh, this is a uh, Dian S uh, yellow color and uh, also sinking also uh, 5 cm. Uh, 5.2 gram okay these are killers for uh, pickle bass uh. pickle bass uh, two months snakeheads uh, snake uh, these are the killers and uh, this is uh, by Rilling Susantara also uh, Dian Dian S uh, sinking redhead uh, RHS uh, the model is uh, Dian S uh, RHS uh, action uh, sinking uh, 5 cm 5 cm uh, 5.2 gram okay. uh, I caught my first PB of 2020 using this Leo uh, it's a bit hard to find in Singapore but uh, that there'll be a, a, I know that there's a seller in Singapore that sells this okay. uh, Kabe, I think Kabe from uh, Relic Susantara. He bring in this, All right? Okay, and at the same time, this is the last Leo that I use. Uh, fresh water, uh, hits, but no hookups, no solid hookups. Also by Relic Susantara, hard Leo. Uh, this is floating. The only floating uh, mino that I have. But uh, the action will be suspending actually. Okay, uh, six point five gram. Uh, sorry, uh, six point five cm, five point eight gram. Uh, suspending gold in color, and this is the Mayang series. Okay, Mayang series. Right, Mayang series. Okay, at the same time, okay, other than hard Leos that I use, uh. I use a uh, Zeman, Zeman Leos, right? Zeman Leos. Currently, uh, I'm using a Smoky Shed, a uh, Hot Shatus, Hot Shatus Red Tail, and uh, there's a few actually. I have uh, this Pinky. This Pinky here. These are all. Uh, I, I've tried them, and so far, even though uh, no solid hookups, but uh, they are hits on it yeah i got this pink color pink color i have uh white yeah then uh this is the this is my one of the favorite uh leos you know by zeman that i use uh very heavily use will be the hot shatus this one is pure killer for baramandi pure killer and uh, you want to entice them more you can use yeah, the smoky shed this is a smoky shed okay with a jig head uh, if you're not mistaken a zirak uh, 10 gram jig head and the other killer that, that I use from Zeman is this hot shatus red tail and this uh, Berkeley if you're not mistaken uh, Berkeley jig heads eh? So rarity nowadays. Okay. Basically, th these are my my go-to lures that I use whenever uh, I, I'm going luring. You know, is it fresh water or uh, salt water? Uh, these are my my lures that I normally bring. Uh, weightless hooks. Weightless hooks. I don't know whether you can see it or not because uh, the lighting is right behind me actually. Wheelers hooks. Basically, uh, I'm using uh, anything from three gram 
all the way up to a 14 gram uh, jig heads okay jig heads eh? okay uh, Zeman has swim bait okay uh, Minow Z okay one thing uh, I like it is because it's soft super soft super stretchy it attracts fishes okay it attracts fishes uh, I said it's a killer for Baramundi it's a very good killer okay. uh, it attracts Baramundi you know uh, I've seen uh, mangrove jack uh, chasing after it you know uh, hook up using a Z man you know even though it's not big but I saw it live you know uh, caught by Ramli I think a few months back uh, at Pulau Ubin then uh, one thing good is uh, it's a, it's have, uh, it had a split dorsal fins to protect the hook yeah? the hook point from uh, completely uh, coming out you know or getting snack in, in uh, weeds okay uh, other than that I have uh, the normal yours uh, Rapala if I'm not mistaken I have my uh, Rapala countdown but it's the old Rapala very small Rapala I have uh, Zurek, uh, sorry, uh, what is it? Storm Leos, you know, uh, those. Uh, I have some other. Uh, I got even Daiso Leos, you know, uh, swim bait, sinking, floating, suspend, suspending. Uh, basically, it's more to trial and error. And I see what color or what type actually uh, is more uh, productive, you know, for fish to hook up. Other than that, uh, I did ask around, you know, ask Ramli, ask Jali, uh, Bro Herman, you know, uh, Yusri, and uh, Sofian, you know, uh, Max, all this. Uh, if there's any lures that uh, I should try, you know, I was, I was, uh, I was even uh, recommended to use a PDG lures, which uh, to me uh, one of the best I have used so far, but no hookups so far no no hookups you know I, I but uh, I, I'm still trying I'm still learning because uh, I'm what do I say uh, I'm in the process of learning back to Leo because uh, I've stopped Leo for quite some time thinking about 10 years maybe I, I stopped Leoring and uh, recently I just got back to Leoring after uh, sustaining uh, some injuries that uh, don't allow me to surf much, you see. Uh, I can't surf cut because of the swinging motion or that. So the more relaxing time is to <coughs> lure. Uh, even though you you got to travel uh, distance to find the fish, to entice the fish to eat, to hook up. Other than that, <coughs> uh, stay safe. I uh, hope that uh, CB will be lifted and we get back to our uh, daily lives. Uh, till then, see you again. Bye. Uh, Alright guys, uh, today I'm going to speak about uh, my favorite Leos. Well, uh, uh, in lieu to luring, uh, I prefer Leos that cover all the water columns, which is from the top, middle and probably the bottom. So, I have this two Leos, uh, basically it's a Rapala Leo, one of it is a Shed Wrap, Shadow Shed Wrap, and the other one is the Countdown. Okay, let me talk about the Super Shed, uh, sorry, the Shed Wrap, Shadow Wrap, it is a uh, a slow sinking which is uh, I like it most so when, on top when you cast basically this fish will it, when you retrieve it uh, it will seems like it will flow like a uh, actual fish okay and then it's a, it's a slow sinking uh. once I cast I wait for a while it will slow sink a bit of fluttering then I go cast uh, sorry, and I will retrieve it fast. It will have a very shaky with a rattle sound. So, this entice a lot of species, mostly actually 
uh, most fish it will attract so, bara bara mundi one of it uh, bara kudas and for fresh water bass basically uh, another thing is this this lure uh, it can is multi usage lure you can use it on the uh, fresh water and also salt water uh, then uh, for this color, yeah, this is a nice, nice game, and it's a Halloween color. And one more thing of this layer, uh, you can see clearly the eye. I love the eye. It looks like real big fish. Uh. And uh, certain time it will close or uh, even at night. Uh. It looks like it's glowing. So this entice those are uh, big fishes. And I like to use nine. Uh, 9 cm because of the weight and it's quite you can use for uh, meat uh, uh, finesse up to uh, medium rod okay. now I'll come back to this uh, countdown okay. this is a uh, quite uh, old design not like the current countdown elite however this range of countdown it has from 3 cm up to 12 cm i'm not mistaken so it have a range of uh, all kind of uh, luring types of lure right up from finesse up to heavy i used to say that okay as what i mentioned before this was a bit the, the characteristic characteristic of this lure is similar to the shed trap that's not that i show you it uh, cover the all columns which is from the top down to the bottom and very special thing about this is the flutters when it when you cast you hold for a second it flutters uh, very very uh, I can say aggressively flutters uh. that's what attract the fish so I got experience once once I experience uh, when I cast flutters when I start to retrieve a fish already bite on it so maybe it's that uh, the terrific terrific colors maybe or maybe as what always angelus like it most uh, uh, they call it right place right time uh, but uh, it's very good leo uh, I use this leo and it attracts a lot of species right up from bears baramundi uh, and toman also so, but that toman is, uh, is, a, is a juvenile toman lah. So I was surprised that it, the toman took this. Okay, uh, I think the only thing is that even though the eyes is is, is like painted lah, it still look it still look alone. <laughs> it, it, it quite attract them lah, attract all the species. Okay. And these are my favorite colors. They call it uh, Chartreus Yamame. I experienced this uh, color at uh, one point of time when I do luring. I only do use this one uh, leo, which I track a lot of fishes. Right from uh, for the fresh water, peacock bass, uh, uh, toman, uh, some other uh, what looks like a bug or what, something like that. And uh, for the other similar, uh, uh, not similar, the same type but it's different color which I tried before. Uh, that one is the Golden Yamame. Some call it Yamame. The Japanese say Yamame. I mean, is, is it uh, pronounced correctly? I'm not sure. This one is uh, Golden Yamame. Okay. and I got this with uh, I got a uh, rusty snapper with this uh, a salt water uh, that time was a finesse uh, finesse uh, luring lah. ok so this is about it two lures that I like most at this moment of time so you guys may try it at your dealers nearby thank you Hi guys, the boy here, Jelly. Welcome to ZSG Fishing. Yeah. 
Topi nak sengih je So ok lah guys uh, Now we talk about What favorite your uh, Some of us are using When we are doing Our luring uh, To catch our fish And our CR on that I think basically our favorite Leo will be the one who the one which catches your first biggies ah. <laughs> so my case, I think I think special lah my Leo my favorite Leo. Uh, I used to like this Leo because like I said lah. I like to use this Leo because it catch my first biggie on the Kalang legal ground so uh, here's the photo ok everybody know this Leo huh? the mustard big eye bucktail jig ok uh, Last time I use actually now so I like to use this Leo. Uh, uh, this Leo comes in uh, different kind of colors. Uh. Some got white, other a bit white but uh, luminous here, yeah. and of course uh, most favorite one is this. Uh, chatus, a bit of chatus here. Yeah. Some, uh, yeah. some of them belum buka pun, pun ada. <laughs> okay, what can I say about this Leo? Eh? Um, Senang cakap, basically easy to say this Leo is out of the box ready to use eh, nah. It's very easy to use, uh, good for beginner And uh, basically it works It is not that expensive It is cheap as compared to other Leo eh. I think it's about less than $5, $4 plus uh, Easy to get anywhere Mm, at any tackle shop uh, comes with uh, different kind of uh, gram if I'm not wrong let me check eh. uh. Uh. But you can get you guys can check at the website lah, eh. it comes from as slight as 1.5 ounce up to 8 ounce but I think our local one a popular around the lightest will be about 3.5 gram up to 14 gram uh, but my favorite one is I would like to use around 7 10 14 gram different different colors uh. but my favorite color or uh, color to go is always white color a bit of chatus because uh, most of my CR when I just start luring if it is bucktail lure mm, and uh, one thing good about this uh, bucktail uh, any kind of fish will be attracted uh, basically be it peacock bass, let me see uh, even uh, talapias uh, only thing you need to vary or change is the weight with the Leo uh, like, uh, another thing is uh, this Leo is good for beginner and easy to use is because it's not easily get snack because the way the Leo is like a jig uh, actually it's basically a, it's actually a jig uh, with uh, bucktail here so when you play when you cast it out and it falls on the water so your hook will be most of it will be on top so when I first start using this one I was uh, being told to use uh, 
is let it sink all the way to the bottom you cast it out as far as possible or cast it where all the you know where the fish are hiding uh, where they are you just let it sink and then just uh, we call it a hop hop the bottom so one thing about mustard i like is we give that as two no you can see two uh i you can this if you, you can uh, clip your uh, shiver it's either on top here you can see focus focus yeah here or right here so when you clip it here you see we play like that almost uh, 45 degrees but i like to use uh, the front part i find it because maybe uh uh, not easily snack when you play it front and then the way it played uh, when you uh, clip it in front here it goes uh, like add up especially when you hop the bottom uh. so what else I can say about this ah different uh, apart of that since it's a jig of course uh, like hard lures uh, most anglers or most leaders would recommend highly recommend to change split ring and triple hook so like i said earlier this uh, bucktail is just uh, out of the box ready to play so you don't have to change your triple hook and or split ring uh, easy to get everywhere in and every tackle shop not that expensive well, i bought mine here at sincere shout out to sincere mm about $4.50 this is a uh, 10 gram 10.5 gram it comes in uh, different different colors of course I think the most popular one in our local water will be something white or chatus mm. for the current Leo I like to use is actually basically any top water layers eh? uh, namely I uh, like my top water layers uh, will be this guy I think most are very popular I think it's the Zerite uh, skittish top love why again it's really easy to walk the dog on top water and yeah it produces uh, result i mean cr i think i can share the uh, my cr in this photo with this leo yeah you can check it out uh, i think zerac everybody we can know uh, uh, what's the spec uh, and uh, of course i believe the this hook uh, this travel hook and speed ring is already good enough for uh, straightaway use or the box i believe it's a bkk but then again uh, if you are serious about getting something big or something uh, huge you are always so welcome highly recommend to change the speed ring and the uh, travel hook to something of a higher standard uh, and of course not forgetting all the poppers poppers ah uh, one thing about poppers ah uh, uh, me and my buddy uh, like to change the tribal hook and put something like this this makes the <laughs> fishes irresistible can cut it but to get this Yes, uh, we will make. I will make. Uh, I will try to ask Ramli or some of our friends will make a video and how I'm doing this. Uh. So that will be another video. So yeah, that's it. Hope you guys uh, like my video explanation. Uh, last but not least, of course, stay home, stay safe, stay safe. Right. See you next time.